tap on new project to start the new project then tap on photos select the photo with which you want to create dual color whatsapp status if you want to use the same photo which i am going to use in this tutorial then the download link is in the description by default the timing of the photo is 3 seconds so select it and then drag the right hand side of the photo then split the photo around 10 seconds select the right hand side of the photo and delete it because total time for the photo we want is 10 seconds you can keep the different time if you want but for this tutorial i am going to keep it as a 10 seconds now we want to add a motion to the photo like zoom in and moving from left to right right to left and for that we are going to use the keyframes so tap on the photo as soon as you tap there is a diamond shape with plus sign near to the play button so that is nothing but a keyframe so tap on that to add the keyframe at the start then move the timing around 2 seconds zoom photo and move it to the left hand side so as you can see the keyframe has been added automatically and what happens between these two keyframes is this zooming and moving the photo on the left hand side has added a motion automatically between these two keyframes now move the timing to the 5 second or 5th second hold the photo move it to the right then go around 8 second and again drag and move it to the left and at the end move it to the right slightly just so that it's on the center let's preview so this much speed is okay for the motion of the photo you can increase it or decrease it as per your choice but i'm going to keep it like this while the layer is selected at the bottom you should see different options and one of them is copy tap on that so it will copy the photo with all the animations or the motion which was applied to the first photo select the first photo go to the filters i think you need internet connection for filters load in the CapCut and uh, app then there is a b and w which is called black and white tap on that and select the brown filter click ok then select the second photo which was copied and while it is selected at the bottom you should see overlay option so tap on that so what happened is this layer is moved on the next layer so the first one at the top is called as a main track and whatever bottom layers will appear they are overlay so they appear on the top of the main track so you can see the main track is black and white and as soon as you try to match the bottom layer with the main track so it is now colored so it means that it is coming on the top of the main track we need to match the timing of the both layers so hold and drag the bottom layer to the left hand side till it matches now select the overlay layer browse the different options and one option should be there which is called mask tap on that then select the second masking option which is film strip so as soon as you tap you can see between the two yellow lines the overlay lay layer is visible the top and the bottom is not visible so only between these two yellow lines is visible in the overlay layer because it is with colors or it is the original image with two fingers if you pinch them together the width of this layer will reduce so let's reduce it 
by a certain amount and then rotate like this till it is diagonal and just position in a way that it, it is covering their faces click ok then move to the next keyframe select the mask again as you can see it is again going to its default setting but we don't want that so again reduce the width rotate it and now move it at the top click ok go to the next keyframe again select the mask reduce the width rotate it till it's let's say diagonal yeah sometimes it's not let's say precise selection it's a little bit buggy so we need to come towards the bottom corner side click ok again go to this keyframe click on the mask reduce then bring it around this position click ok and then at the end we need to do the same but this time we will keep the width a little bit bigger and we will stop on this position where their faces are colored click ok let's preview yeah it looks fine to me uh, we need to tweak one more setting so while the layer is selected we need to zoom in a little bit so they both shouldn't match in the size and this will give like a glass effect yeah it's like something is sliding over them like a glass and then it's just popping up at the top and we have to do it for each keyframe again because on the second keyframe it is again going to its original size so let's pinch or zoom in a little bit i don't know with cap it's uh, not easy to zoom in and zoom out because of the auto snapping so again let's say zoom in a little bit not that much this much is okay and at the end a little bit let's preview it again as you can see it looks like uh, the glass is sliding and that it's popping up the colors yeah it this effect seems like that obviously you can add let's say the audio by clicking on the add audio button select the song from your device or there are already inbuilt some uh, songs inside the CapCut app you can add them and to export the video you just need to click on this arrow button and it will export the video so thanks for watching if you like the tutorial then click on the like button subscribe to my channel i also make the light motion app tutorials you can check the link in the description for the playlist in future i'm going to make more and more CapCut tutorials i'm planning to do the video editing tutorials using another totally free app which is called vn editor blog now editor so stay tuned subscribe to my channel thanks for watching stay safe and stay healthy